Hello, I'm Erin. This is Phoenix, and we're going to uh, demonstrate how to do a cross wrap carry where your baby will be facing you. So, the first thing we do is take our wrap, and today I'm using an Elleroo, which is a woven wrap. Um, it's about five yards or so long, um, but you can do this with any type of material, whatever you have available, as long as it's long enough to go around your body. Um, so, we're going to take our wrap once we found the center and just kind of drape it over your body. Um, and I use one hand to hold Phoenix and I keep him right in the center. I'm going to take my wrap and tuck it right under his bum. And this is probably the most important step when you're wrapping your baby is making sure you have a nice good pocket for them. And you want to keep your rails separate. So you've got a bottom rail and a top rail. And you want to try to keep them as straight as possible so that when you're tightening everything, you don't get it all twisted up and that just makes it that much more complicated. So I usually carry Phoenix right here, um, right under my chin. Um, you can also do this carry where your baby's a little lower on your hips if you want to um, breastfeed, nurse your baby. You can always take them down a little lower and then always bring them back up if you want. Um, or even if you're bottle feeding, this is a great um, wrap to do so that you can have at least one hand free. And so what I'm doing here is I'm taking my opposite hand and reaching behind and grabbing the top rail and I'm going to pull it around my body and bring it right underneath his bum. So I've got the top rail nice and secure so that he can't flip himself out of this. And I'm going to tighten up the bottom there too so that it's right up against my body. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I took my, my hand there, reached under, grabbed that top rail, and we're tightening this part, which is going to be either under his arms or over, whichever you prefer. And depending on the size of your baby, um, if you've got a newborn, you'll probably end up doing this tie a little higher to support their head. And once you get it nice and secure, and I usually spread out my material so that this is not on your neck. You want to have this on your shoulder so that you're getting the weight distribution even, and you're not going to have sore, sore neck. And then just tighten that up, give a little bounce, make sure that material is right under his bum. And then you're done. If you want to stop here, you can do a knot under your baby's bottom, oh goodness, and your hands free. And I use this wrap almost every single day, spread out the back so that it's nice and even. And I pull this up over my shoulders so that my arms are free and he's nice and comfy. Um, and he usually will go to sleep like this. An extra step if you want to have a little more support is to take your ties here, cross them right under his bum, and then go under the legs. Come around the back. And if you've got extra material, you can always bring it back around to the front and tie it under his bum if you need to. But we're going to tie a knot. And this just takes practice. I practiced a lot in the mirror almost every single day. Um, it probably took me a couple of weeks before I really could do this in a, in a hurry, like if I was going to the grocery store and wanted to tie him. It took me probably two weeks of practicing, you know, every day or every other day. And you can take your material and pull it right up over your baby so that it's a little tighter, a little more secure, and you get a little more support right here under their bum. Just do a couple of little bounces, get your clothes adjusted. And if you've got a newborn, this is great too because you can really bring it up and keep their head nice and close to you so it's not going all over the place. Once your baby falls asleep, you can pull that on up over their head to protect them. And that's it. Um, again, we do this wrap almost every single day. We tie it right under his bum because it's fast and easy. And I'm going to demonstrate also with the same wrap how to do a back carry. So we'll do that next.